hi welcome back to my channel and today let's talk about piranesi so where do i start with this book honestly like any form of words that i can put to this book is like a different thing all put together because piranesi is a book that's like out of this world literally out of this world uh, piranesi is uh, a book which is fantasy fiction and it talks about this particular man our protagonist who kind of lives in this very weird fantasy world where there are a lot of uh, you know tidal waves and there are a lot of statues as well it's a very very interesting read per se and that's all i'm going to talk about because the thing is that if i explain the plot line more to you i would kind of not be able to shut up and it's better if you go into the book with zero knowledge honestly as far as you know this much that's it but i have some pros and cons that we do need to talk about regarding this book so the pros about this book if you like donna tart if you like dark academia in general then this is one book that you have to read because this book kind of combines fantasy fiction and dark academia in that kind of nice blend which is very much like dark in taste right it's dark it's you know weird it's like i don't have any words for it it's just enthralling in general and it kind of keeps you at the edge of your seat if you are someone who likes thrillers in general you like daphne du maurier you like that kind of dark vibes those gothic vibes of your books then you are going to love this particular book and one more thing that i would like to add here is that you cannot like imagine what's going to happen at the end of it so it's kind of unpredictable because all you're getting the story is from this man who sees this particular world and everything's just like you know magical and stuff like that and you're actually like kind of theorizing a lot of things while reading it but actually it's not what you think and and i think that's like the best part of the book that it's like super super un predictable one more alluring element about the book is the writing in itself uh susanna clark is a beautiful beautiful writer i love her prose a lot her prose is kind of very precise right it's accurate it's to the point the way she describes this world the way she describes this kind of whole you know weird a uh, situation our protagonist is in is just so beautiful like when you're reading the book you will have so many thoughts because the prose is like accurate it's precise it talks about what it needs to be and more importantly it's like this whole planning the planning of the prose the planning of the book is so beautiful and it's just like chef's kiss that i get inspired to write because of such authors i get inspired to kind of write a book because such authors exist in the world and because these people are whom i look up to as my writing inspiration now talking about the cons of the book there are no cons of the book let me just be honest like this book kind of does not have any cons but if you are someone who does not enjoy that gothic dark academia vibe then this is actually not the book for you because this does have that dark gothic you know dark academy a vibe but if you someone who thinks dark academy is overrated like i thought dark academy is overrated you will kind of like this book okay i think the thing that i would like to you know put forward here is that even if you don't like fantasy like me even if you don't like dark academy or like me i do like gothic though um gothic mystery i do like that genre though so although you it's not like your taste in general if you like thrillers and mystery books in general then you will kind of like it uh, also to add it's kind of better off if you read this in a physical print form uh, because i listened to the audiobook and although the audiobook was beautiful for me uh, the audiobook requires your undivided attention right because there's a lot of like precise accurate like you need attention to detail to decode the mystery and that's very very important when it comes to this book so i highly recommend you read a print copy or like an ebook in general in order to grasp whatever information has been thrown at you in this particular fantasy world overall i rated piranesi 5 stars and i think that's like like 
it's like chef's kiss thrown all around because pirani si is that good a book and i will like not be surprised at all if this gets shortlisted as well for the women's prize uh, in fiction 2021 because while we are talking about this book it's only been long listed so far but i know that it will be shortlisted so that's that and yes thank you so much for watching this short review let's talk about video i will see you in my next video bye